What's up guys? For all of my HTC One owners out there, we have Paranoid Android for the HTC One. Uh, here it is, loaded up, ready to go. Um, however, I'm going to throw this out there right now. Uh, this is definitely not, in my opinion, um, by any means, a daily driver or suitable for a daily driver. Um, the reason behind that, you know, for starters, this is the big one. The battery is a huge drainer right now. Uh, currently, we're sitting at, what is it, 28%. Um, as you can see, the DPI is totally different. They have it set default for 360 DPI. A uh, little bit too small for my eyes, I think. I'm not really a huge fan of that, but I believe they did it to sort of be best optimized for a full HD uh, display like these ones. Um, however, you'll notice... It's only been on for 13 hours. Uh, I flashed it last night and then went to bed and woke up and it was at like 35%. Um, so 13 hours of pretty much just phone idle time and um, sell standby, you know, 28%. So the battery's been draining incredibly fast. It was at 100% before I went to bed. So um, that gives you a bit of an idea of, uh, of battery life on this bad boy. Uh, camera, um, I'll open it up right now. For some reason right now, the uh, as you can see, it has some weird glitching. The front-facing camera isn't acting um, the way it's supposed to. Hello, everybody. Um, the rear-facing camera, however, seems to be doing just fine. Um, I haven't tested out any video recording, which though I probably should have, but nevertheless, a lot of people have been reporting some severe issues with um, the front-facing camera, uh, having all kinds of weird greens and magentas, just totally being totally weird and crazy. Um, I've also noticed some issues with, um, because of the DPI, some uh, some different applications like Falcon Pro for Twitter. Um, you know, in there I was seeing some weird graphical artifacting up at the top, some weird banding going on. Um, kind of hard to explain. It looked like there was colors going on behind the application. So uh, with that said, we'll go ahead and we'll kind of jump in, down into hybrid pro properties. Um, you'll notice we have it set to 360 uh, backing out of there. And if I was to do something like, I don't know, say for instance, the recommended UI and I was to click save on that, um, the navigation bar pops up down there at the bottom. Um, that doesn't go away. And you'll notice that it actually also cuts off the top bit of the screen as well. Um, that happens throughout all of the different um, phablet and tablet settings uh, until we go back to stock UI. And if I can barely click on that check mark up there at the top then this kind of goes back to normal but again everything's really really condensed and very small quite hard to see um but you know this is basically a concept i mean now we actually have paranoid android which you know a lot of people ask me what my favorite aosp based rom is and you know i'll have to be completely honest with you guys um paranoid android is probably my favorite just because of all the innovation that they have done um their rom is really unlike any other roms out there and it's quite the impressive piece of software uh so that's a bit of a quick look at paranoid android for your htc one lots of various different things uh bluetooth wasn't working for me either the battery life like i mentioned is crazy the dpi so graphical issues uh, a little bit off off right now some people have been complaining that the um, halo feature isn't um, displaying text messages and things like that so I'll be posting a link in the description down below if you guys wanted to go and download it if you don't I don't recommend it um, you know as a daily driver but if you want to just kind of play around with it and see it on your HTC one it's always fun to do that's why I did it <laughs> that's it for now though guys hopefully you like this video if you did click that likes button down below and if you're new to my channel maybe consider subscribing for more videos like this one in the future I will have a full review of this in the future again as well um, once some more up Dates start coming down the pipeline and it kind of starts to uh, stabilize itself. Um, also, if you want to stay up to date on all things the smoking Android, you can also follow me on Twitter and Google Plus. Those links will be in the description below as well. Anyways, guys, have fun. Go flash it, play around with it, and then just make sure you do a backup of your previous ROM so you can flash back immediately after. That's it for now. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.